saints were back in Stillwater, I figured it couldn't hurt to have a little more muscle on the Brotherhood side. 2080 was a fair split for a bunch of has-beens from the row. After all, we were the strongest crew in the city. What do we have to fear from them? If their leader wasn't such a greedy asshole, maybe things wouldn't have escalated like they did. Let's see. Image's design is on the list in this area. Wait, no, yeah, that's right. Hack away. That's jacked. No more. City has a lot of tattoo parlors. Nothing unusual about this. Don't you 
Here's your standard hack-friendly fire reminder. Like you really thought there wouldn't be one in this sector? take on the Zoom security while I upload the next virus? Well, I hope you are, because that's what's next. I should have that second doorway in downtown online. is a piece of cake. I'm doing most of the work.
worry, it's the last one in the city that'll help me open a door. I promise. I was hoping that Benjamin could keep the city locked down, but years passed, and it ended up being the same old shit. Only this time, the victims were the people in Saints Row. I thought the Vice Kings was a cautionary tale that I learned something from. That if I built a new street gang, I could control it, not make the same mistakes King did. I was so fucking naive. Hey, look! One of my favorite shops in town is on the list. Hack it open in case I need to pick anything up there later. Okay, another rim job's in this set. Remember, don't get too cocky about your hacking skills. Nothing Any unusual about this. Changed. help with opening the door, but frankly, who cares? Just take our store back from that egomaniacal bastard. I'm coming for you! Open it up, and onward we go.
I knew early on what it was I let loose on Stillwater. The player was reckless and uncaring. Left a wake of bodies pointing right back at us. Think more of the city was destroyed than saved in the end. Sure, the Saints were taken, cares if it's used. but at what cost? Stay away. I couldn't risk letting a sociopath run things, so I did what I had to do. So no. Never thought the bastard would survive the explosion. I can't believe I have to work a double shift. <laughs> You did great. With all those access points back to the real world, I'm a lot less worried you'll get trapped there now. Well, at least I can shop just about anywhere now.
learn a new ability from an old school side scroller? Yeah, I did. What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. I've always thought we had a lot to learn from classic technology. Hey, you think you have a training program stashed away that'll work for this? I'm sure I can whip something up quick. One sec. Here you go. Jump up and then focus on holding yourself in the air. That should allow you to target exactly what area you'd like to come down at. Nice way to aim a landing. Does height matter? The higher you are, the more damage you should cause around your landing point. From above, baby! You had to say it, didn't you? Yeah, just once. It's time. Are you ready to tear the simulation down? Sure thing. Let's do this. Reception's got shitty. Look, just spread the word. We're meeting at Kinsey's. I'm not late to the briefing, am I? We haven't started yet. I'm waiting on Miller. I still feel bad about punching Matt in the face. He'll get over it. Or he'll kill me in my sleep. That's always a possibility, too. Got one more guy, guys. Can we just get to murdering already? We got a problem. Now we're talking. What's up? The Zin are coming. Here? That's probably why he said it's a problem. All right, let's take cover. We should be able to ambush them. Not so sure about that. Kinsey! 
ideas on how they found us? I don't know! Who cares? Let's just kill them! Nice day to be me! There's too many of them. There's a helicopter on a nearby roof. We can use it to get everyone to safety. This way. Matt and I will head out on our own. We what? Take care of your people. We'll catch up. Stay safe. Before we do anything, we need some breathing room. Let's take out those tanks. This way. Pierce and I will hold him here. Just get everyone else to safety, player. We got this! Come on! Whoa, why are we running? I'm down for some murder. We can murder later. Right now, we need to get the plan back on track. Whatever the plan was, it went out the fucking window. We need to focus on surviving. Let's go! Yo, Pierce and Ben are getting into that car. Let's cover them. Sounds good. What's the best way out of here, Kinsey? Okay, um, hold on, I'm scanning. Scan fast. Yo, these Din have some high-tech shit. What's their arsenal like? Oh, the Zen have all kinds of cool stuff. You can push up get into their armory and see what they're prototyping. They even have murder bots. Murder bots? Now that's my kind of household appliance. Damn, you are falling the sky! Find a safe place for Pierce and Ben to go. We're not going to my place.
there for us to... Oh, no! We're going down! Brace yourselves! Everyone okay? We walked away, right? Oh, look, a cat. Is this a pet store? God, I wish it was. Super ethical reality climax. Who names this shit? Where to now? Doesn't matter. The Zin just found us. We gotta get out of here, Kinsey. On it. Ooh, is that a killing floor? Merry Christmas to me. Uh-oh. Christ, what now? Boss, the game is on. It started by itself. I can't shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Big money, big prizes. I love it. The floor is active and the doors are locked. Nobody gets out. Including us. Until that is, the contestants rack up enough points to fill the murdometer. Shit, I'm down. Let's do this. How'd that work out for you? Contestants today and all new targets as well. The Zen Empire have taken it upon themselves to face the challengers. Truly a bold move on their part. You're not kidding. The Zen are the fiercest opponents in the universe, Bobby. They should be a tough fight for the Saints. Yes, indeed. Falling before the might of these contestants. They sure are. Look at how they're mowing down the opposition. Goes to show you how much having a team behind you can really come in handy. <laughs> I wish we had a team behind us. What we have is the love and support of Zinyak. What else could we possibly need? <laughs> Nothing at all, Bobby. Nothing at all. And that's Just a little stop. bit longer. Stage. Let's watch the master at work. That's Genki, huh? Yeah, he looks crazy. Now's our chance. Kill it! Boss, he's kind of helping us. The man cat must fall. Good shot by the contestant. Genki's sure gonna feel that one. It takes a particularly skilled player to take out Professor Genki. Especially after facing the considerable might of the Zen Empire. Of which we are required to extol the virtues. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Genki is down. Down, but never out, Zach. So true, Bobby. So true. Is that all? Looks like it. Oh my gosh. Is everything okay? Let's get to the prize room. That was fun. They got more games like this in Steelport? So where to? You know, I generally don't like getting involved in these things, but this is really exciting. Yeah, I get it. Life beyond the computer is mysterious and beautiful. Now, can you snap out of it and tell me what we're supposed to do? Ben's plan was to overload the simulation. We can still do that, but not if the Zin know our every move. Can you come up with a workaround? Yes, but I need to get back to the ship so I can find a way to cut them off. Once that's done, it's just a matter of finding the weakest point in the simulation. Sounds good. Let's go up. Next time, you should run!
player. Pierce and I are pulling out of the simulation. Meet you back on the ship. Is this that normal, or is someone messing with our connection? I don't know. Zinyak must... and Asha Miller and the Vice President are gone. They kidnapped Keith David? And left us sleeping so we get picked up by Zinya. Too bad for them we're awake. What's the plan? Secure the room. I'm checking on Kinsey. We'll save you, Kinsey. I promise. You ready? Because we got visitors. Nothing unusual about this. Good stretch of the muscles, eh? Let's clear out the lower decks. We have to hold the room! Fuck that! I'm not waiting for them to come to me. Why are we moving? Let's get to the bridge. Shit, are we driving into the sun? We need to figure out what the hell is going on. No need. I have already analyzed our situation. Shit, I forgot Mr. Deix Ex Machina was even on the ship. A Zin transport has attached itself and is dragging us toward what I assume is certain doom. Any bright ideas on how to keep us from dying? If I were you, I would deal with the strange heat signature by the cargo bay first. Cargo bay? Fuck. Let's go! Okay. Everyone's fine. The Zin grabbed me and... Hey, Zin said something about heat signatures? One of them put a device on the wall. I'm not sure what it is. We got bombs over here. Bombs? Yeah. And they're set to blow. You thinking what I'm thinking? Keep an eye on Kinsey, Shondi. Johnny and I are about to do something really stupid. You got a specific thing you want to blow up, or just shit in general? Kinsey, what's the weakest point on the Zin ship? Yo, boss. Kinsey's... Fuck. I... Look, we'll just find the biggest, glowingest thing on the ship and stick the bombs to that. These Zin sure do make a good argument for murder. Senior can't hide forever. 
When I find him, he's gonna wish he fell on his own sword. Take your time, huh? That sounds like a plan. I'll get a chance. I'm gonna rip Zinyak's goddamn head off. Yeah, where do you think the Zin had Kinsey? When I find Matt and Asha, I'm gonna beat that information out of them. Yo, we got some alien gun over here. Hell of a welcome back, huh, Johnny? Fuck, you were thinking I wanted to go to Hawaii or something? I live for this shit. Done already. Got some new tricks, huh? And glowy. Looks perfect. Here you go. I need to find something that looks important. Get in here. Will you even try? That wasn't a bad fuck you to Zidniak. Now let's get out of here and find Kinsey. To think I actually apologized. He's probably been working this angle for a while. Hell, he might have even been the one who tipped off Zinyak about Johnny. Doubt it. Dante said that the lowest circle of hell was reserved for betrayers. But it's important to remember that it's the storyteller who decides who the hero is, not morality. But while philosophers will spend years debating the ethics of the Kinsey Gambit, the Saints had a less charitable view. Keith David is a dead man. Think much of the boss when they first joined the crew. I thought there was no way they were gonna make it through being canonized, let alone be any help taking over Stillwater. Hell, they didn't even talk back then. But after that shit with the Vice Kings, I knew we found ourselves one hell of a saint. There's nothing the boss can't do. lost Lynn to the Rollers back in Stillwater. And then Julius tried blowing up the boss and the Saints fell apart. And after getting the crew back together, the Brotherhood had Carlos killed and... Aisha. Oh. I lost her to the Ronin. And then fucking Philippe Loren tried taking me out 
only to have Zinyak come in and snatch me from the Saints anyway. Like I said, shit's always been rough. Aisha's death, it hit me really hard. I thought I'd made peace with it, but Zinyak's fucking simulated hell took its toll. You know, I know the whole point was that I'd never be able to save her, but that shit would never stop me from trying. <laughs> the boss didn't show up to help. I don't know how much longer I could have kept it together. I don't regret much. You make your choices, you live with them. But if I could take anything back, it would be the way things ended up with Angela. It was all fun and games for her. She wanted to be just like Benjamin. I shouldn't have let her get in so deep. Warren, Tony, Alderman Hughes, I had them all wrapped around my finger. They would have died for me. Come to think of it, <laughs> I guess they did. creature of habit, of structure, which doesn't fit well with the Saints' M.O. They have their way of doing things, and at times, I have no idea what they're thinking, or of their infatuation with those god-awful freckled bitches' hamburgers. But, when it comes down to it, they get things done. That's impressive, and I'm not easily impressed. Saints did to my face, they had to expect a little payback. 
Carlos was an easy target and hurt their boss the most. But Jessica, that was going too far. Then Vogel rips off my ship and after letting my crew get killed, I wasn't about to let the Brotherhood go I'm down because of some prick in a suit. couldn't kill me in my own home. What chance did they have to survive my trap? I had the perfect setup. Even used the truck that killed Jessica for a little poetic justice. But it didn't matter. I lost. Fucking saints. is one of the best things that ever happened to me, and right now it feels like the worst. I'm up here trying to save us from captivity and psychological torture, and all I can think about is him. He's the only one who ever truly understood what I was saying. I never thought I'd meet someone with an intelligence nearly matching my own who made me feel like I wasn't constantly missing something in my life. Now I am. Now I miss him. 